Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how the star tool can be used to help design some easy cutting files. So just click on star on the side bar and then we've got some options up here. Now I can already see that I've got some numbers in. At any time I can return it to the default settings. If I just click on this little icon it returns all the settings to default which will be a five point star. So I'll just draw the star and as you probably already know you get two little nodes that you can move course you can alter the number of corners. Now to get a nice scalloped looking shape just increase this I might just make this 10. All I have to do is go path dynamic offset or I can hold down control J on the keyboard. Then this little node that will appear I can just move it until I get the look I want. When I'm happy with it I go path object to path. Might just make this six, might make this six. What I'm going to do to this star, now we've made it six points, is just move it in a little bit. Then I'm going to go path, object to path. And I'm just going to select all of the nodes. As you can see they've turned blue so I know they're all selected. And I'm just going to click on make node smooth. Now look at that, if you wanted that to be a water splat you can just come in and move the node out a bit further and play around with them. Or of course you can change it to dark brown and make a mud splat. I've used a six point star to alter that but of course you're not limited to using six points. Next one I'll show we'll just draw the six point star if we change the number here in rounded. As soon as I start moving that out see how it's getting rounder? So let's start moving it quite drastically. Then we'll come down to these two nodes that we have. You can move either one. Just keep changing them around until you get a look you like. So I might change this, I might change it to a minus number. And of course, zooming in, you might make a nice design that you like, but it won't be a practical cutting file. As you can see close up there, all these little bits would cut off. That's not suitable. Sometimes you can use path offset, but that would still just not work. I find that I tend to get random looks. It's very hard to duplicate the same design again. So if you get a design you like, so say I like that, I'll just come and make a duplicate and move it aside. I know these are going to be small holes but I can fix that later. So I'll just pop that aside and continue. I found even if I write all these numbers down it is still hard to get back. Okay, I might change the number of corners. So if I like that one, I'll just make a duplicate. Move it aside, I can come back to it again. And continue working. At this stage, don't worry about the size. I can see I've got a 12 by 12 page behind me. But sometimes I end up with a very big design. It's easy enough to change later on. See, I quite like that. I think that would make a nice little flower. So I'll duplicate that one, put it aside, come back and work again. I was trying to get a specific design but it's just not going to cooperate for me. Okay, we'll make that one as well. So this time we have to do it slightly different. So what I do is I go path, union. Just come to each one of them, go path, union, path, union, path, union. Now this one's neat and tidy to start with, so I don't need to do anything to that, so I can just pop it aside. This one needs a bit of altering. This isn't going to cut neatly. So all I'm going to do is just drag the mouse around all the nodes. You can see they've changed colour. Just hit delete on the keyboard. That one's ready. And for this one, same again. I mean this pattern in the middle just will not cut. Select them all. If they've changed colour, I go delete. That file's now ready for cutting. And that one, I'm going to leave as is. So all I need to do now, see that's a 12 by 12 page. Just change this to inches. That's 22 inches, a little bit too big to cut. I want to keep the proportions the same, so if I close the padlock, and say come along and turn this to 8 inches. So all I have to do is type 8, press enter. So that's now 8 inches. This one's four and a half. 
So I might come along to change these others to 4. So just type 4, press enter. Type 4, press enter. There we go, quite a few options. And if you'd like to have a look at more, you're welcome to visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you for your time.